Well, the spring of 2018 has finally arrived here in Kansas, and my wife and I have been just itching to get in the ground blind and get after these turkey. Uh, it's April 15th, uh, it's Sunday evening, and my wife and I jump in a ground blind and have a pretty eventful hunt. So come on along and enjoy. Well, we finally got settled in the ground blind for the evening and almost right away we saw a good flock of turkey headed our direction. So almost right off the bat, we had a good two and a half year old long beard come in. Um, he held up about 40 yards. I could tell he was probably um, a little bit of an inferior bird. He had probably gotten kicked off of the main group of, of hens. Um, that tom held up about 40 yards and he just would not commit to the decoys. I could tell he was just a little bit shy. So we decided to let him walk and see if we couldn't wait for some more. 
Alright, we got one coming. A couple more out of the bigger group broke off and they're coming in. Kendra's back on the bow. Well, after Kinder made a perfect shot on her bird, uh, it was complete chaos in the ground blind. Uh, we tried to pull the switch. Uh, Kinder grabbed the camera. I grabbed my bow. And uh, the toms were just running all over the place trying to figure out what had happened on Kinder's bird. And I tried a close shot uh, in the head and ended up missing just barely. Uh, I hit lots of feathers, but nothing fatal. Uh, that bird went out a little bit farther about 40 yards and I tried a second shot at him again they were kind of walking away so I just didn't have a great standing shot ended up barely missing him again uh, we decided to regroup um, I crawled out reset the decoys and got settled in for one last hunt Wow. 
Well, it's about 8 o'clock. We have about an hour left. Probably only about 30 minutes left to shoot tonight. So we've got a group of hens working our way to come to roost. And there's a couple toms we haven't seen yet. We know they're with the hens, so we're hoping they're the big boys. Um, Kendra made an awesome shot earlier. Me, not so much. It was pretty chaotic trying to move and switch things in the blind in here, and I ended up shooting right, right beside one's head. I crawled out, got some arrows, reset up the decoys because they were flopped over. We're going to try it one last time, trying to get these to come in for roost, so... Well, unfortunately, just when it was getting good, uh, we had the hens committed. They were leading the toms in to come to roost and the audio went out on my lav mic. So I ended up losing batteries. Unfortunately, I had no audio uh, as, the, as the turkey were coming in. Um, we made the best of it, uh, as you can see. But what happened is, uh, the hens led the toms right in. There were about three toms that kind of split off and committed right into the decoy. Um, one big tom came in close. I was trying to follow him around. He was moving. I tried to shoot him in the head with the Magnus bullhead. Unfortunately, with him moving around, I ended up not making contact with his head, so I grabbed another arrow clipped on a, an arrow with a Rage hypodermic and waited for a good shot walking away. I ended up making a call. He stopped at 40 yards facing away and I made a perfect shot right between the wings.
Well, it is now sundown. The turkeys are getting ready to roost. It has been a crazy, crazy night. First time come in, he's about 35, 45 yards, and he would not commit to the decoys. He was by himself. I would guess he was probably a two-year-old bird. Luckily, a couple more branched off later, and uh, one came in, Kinder shot him right in the neck. Perfect shot. He's dead down over the hill behind us. I quickly gave Kinder the camera. I grabbed my bow, tried to get a second bird that was attacking Kendra's. And with them running around and moving, I just shot right beside his neck, so I missed on that one. I tried a follow-up shot on the one, uh, the other one walking away, missed him. My shooting percentage is poor tonight, I'll tell you that. Finally, as the birds were coming in to roost, they were all strutting beautifully. One come in, committed to the decoys, or a couple, and uh, tried to head shoot one of them, missed again. They spun and walked out to about 40, and I tried one last shot and absolutely drilled this one. So I think he's laying dead over the hill. We're going to go see if we can find him. Well, it's an absolute beautiful evening here in Kansas, 15th of April, and Kendra and I came out this evening and had quite the evening. Had Toms coming in and out of our decoy spread all night. Had so much luck with the decoys and the calls. Finally, it, right at uh, sundown, this Tom came in, came right into the decoys. I ended up missing him at close range somehow. He turns and goes out to about 40. And I shot him walking away, perfect shot at 40 yards. So my shooting percentage was not real great tonight, but luckily ended up taking one. And my unit four, Kansas Tom, is tagged out. So thanks to Kendra for helping, filming. She did an awesome job on her Tom. He's laying down in the creek right now. We got to get him out but I wanted to get this shot before dark, so. Hope you all enjoyed this hunt. Thank you for watching and God bless.